So the question was, um, how can Houston be the most sustainable city in the US? I'm glad the question wasn't, can we be the most sustainable city? Because I hope you believe, as I believe, that we can do it. It shouldn't be a question. You know, when I came here um, about a year ago from San Francisco, people thought I was crazy to come and do greening initiatives in Houston. But I didn't think I was crazy. Do you think I was crazy? No. Okay, okay. <laughs> I heard a few yeses out there, but I <laughs> Hopefully I'll convince you by the end of my few minutes here that uh, we, we, we can do good things and I can be your partner in greening uh, Houston, Texas. So let's get, let's, get into, let's get into the things that we're doing, okay? And then we'll talk what about the things we need to do. So wh wh what are we doing and why are we doing it? You know, mo most importantly, we're doing it because we have a lot of greenhouse gas emissions in our environment. And as you can see, this is Houston's greenhouse gas emissions. It's based on 2007 data. And as you can see, there's two major big uh, yeah, things that contribute to greenhouse gas emissions, building energy use and transportation. So we have lots of initiatives that are trying to combat those greenhouse gas emissions in those two sectors. So let's go right into building energy use. We have a huge amount of programs that talk about and try to reduce and try to help people with energy efficiency. I'm a huge fan of energy efficiency. I love renewables, I love Michael Skelly who just talked to you about wind, um, but I think there's a lot of bang for your buck in things you can't see. You can't tell if these lights are efficient or if your HVAC system is efficient, but it really, really makes a difference. So the city has taken a leadership role. We're actually kind of being seen as an international leader on energy efficiency. I just spoke at an international conference last week on energy efficiency, the work we're doing. And we've literally done uh, energy efficiency projects in over 80 buildings um, in the city of Houston. And we've spent $57 million to date. That represents five, oh, just over five million square feet. And we're the, the unique thing about it is we're paying back the initial investment with the utility savings uh, that, we're go that we're receiving. And then once we've reached, the, once the ROI has been reached, it'll be pure savings for you. Really, it's really for taxpayers because we'll be saving money on our energy bills. And of course, we'll be using le less energy, which helps the environment. The other great thing about it um, is that we're not just doing it. The school district literally just on Thursday passed an initiative where they are going to do the same thing the city has done in, the, in school buildings in Houston. They're gonna use the same energy efficiency performance contracting and try to reduce energy usage in to over 260 schools and they have 24 million square feet of, of school space. So we're, we're, we're taking over Houston when it comes to energy efficiency, and I'm real excited about it. Um, but we're doing other efficient things. Um, you probably don't know that every traffic light that you pass under is an LED traffic light. It's a really great initiative. Other cities are kind of modeling what we're doing. Um, we have we've changed out every, bo every bulb. It's 40,000 lights in Houston, and we save $3.6 million a year. And the other great thing is that these are the old lights used to have to change them out every year. Now we don't have to change them out once every seven years. I mean, think about the O&M that we're saving with that. Yes, it's great. It's a great uh, initiative. So we're trying to do the same thing with our street lights. We'd love to have every street light in Houston be LED. So we're working with Centerpoint. We have a pilot going right now to see if we can do the same thing. We spend $30 million a year on street lights in Houston out of the city budget, out of your pockets. We need to reduce that cost and also reduce our energy usage, and we can do it if we change out the streetlights. So let's talk about what we're doing for residents on energy efficiency. We have a really great program called REAP. If you haven't heard about it, it's our residential energy efficiency program. We go into homes and we do free energy audits, and then we go in and do work to reduce people's bills. A $23 million program, receive grant funding, and we're, we've spent about half of it so far. Uh, which is great. A lot of other cities have lost their money because they haven't figured out how to pay, how to, how to spend their money fast enough, but we've done it. We've gone into neighborhoods and we've been... <laughs> I know, exactly. Uh, we've gone into neighborhoods and uh, talked to opinion leaders and gotten people to feel comfortable with us, the government, going into their home and actually doing, giving them free money and, and, doing, and doing work for them. So it's a very successful program that we're very proud of. So. We don't just do energy efficiency uh, in Houston. We also do what Michael Skelly just talked about. We also care about renewables. 
So another little known fact, and with all of you very smart people in the room, hopefully it will be a known fact uh, in Houston and beyond, uh, Houston is the number one municipal purchaser of renewable energy in the country, okay? And that's, <laughs> I know, can you believe it? The oil and gas capital is the number one purchaser of renewable energy. 33% of our energy comes from wind farms in West Texas. Uh, we want to increase that to 50% by the end of this year. Wind is actually kind of cheap right now, and we want to see if we can increase our numbers. And then in 2013, our electricity contract comes up. So we have a vision that we want 100% of the city of Houston's energy to come from renewable sources. Let's see if we can actually get there, which would be fantastic. Um, it <laughs> um, obviously, for Texas, wind is great. Um, you know, te Texas, if it were a country, um, it would be the sixth largest wind uh, producer in the world. That's how much wind we produce in Texas. It's a really, really great market here. Uh, and you've already heard about why, why that is. Solar, we care about solar, a little harder to do solar in Texas. Other states are, uh, do a little bit of a better job, but we're, we're still trying creative things. So right down the street from us, the University of Houston, in fact, you can see the School of Architecture building in that photo behind me. Uh, they are, have really, really smart faculty, and they have a great program called the Green Buildings Components Program where they create green products and bring them to the market. And so one of them that they've done is this solar-powered container office. And it's all off the grid, and it can act as storage, it can act as um, office space. And then when there's an emergency, which is what the grant was for that we bought these with, uh, this will be able to power radios, medical devices, uh, cell phones, other things that are very important uh, to be charged during uh, an emergency. So we're putting these all throughout the city of Houston, neighborhood centers, fire stations, police stations, parks, schools. Um, you'll start to see them popping up. And it's just, we're really proud of the partnership we have with the University of Houston. So, uh, another project that combines energy efficiency and renewables all in one house uh, is our Five Star uh, program. And this is a builder program. We give money to builders to build low-income, affordable housing that has renewables in the, on the home and also has state-of-the-art energy-efficient appliances in it, and we have a couple homes already built. They're wildly successful. The residents who live in them love them, um, and obviously, as you can imagine, their energy bills are very low. So, another project that was talked about earlier that we're really proud of is that Houston is becoming a leader in electric vehicle readiness. Uh, Houston is a car city, we can't deny it. We're trying to change that. We have three new public transportation lines coming into the city. Uh, yay, that is really, really exciting. I think that will be a huge, it's a huge legacy actually for us. Most cities are cutting public transportation budgets, we're expanding ours. So fight for those lines, do not let them stop, do not let them go away. Um, but we're also trying to get people to drive more efficient cars, low emission cars, no emission cars, such as electric cars. So we have amazing partnerships with Ecotality, a nonprofit that's funded by the DOE, NRG, our local energy company. We are going to have over 250 public charging stations in Houston by the end of the year, early next year. So when you buy your Nissan Leaf, your Chevy Volt, any of the new cars that are coming online, you will feel confident that uh, even if you don't have a charging station in your home or if you're a renter, that there will be enough public charging stations for you to feel confident that you can charge your car. We're really proud of that, um, of that commitment, particularly by NRG. They, they committed $10 million to Houston to put in these charging stations. We were the first city in the nation that they put a private investment in public infrastructure, and they did it right here in Houston. Um, we're also buying electric cars into our city fleet. We're gonna have the first Nissan Leaf is literally gonna be delivered next week, and we'll be the first city in Texas and one of the first in the country to have electric cars in our fleet. We're also doing incentives for you, trying to give you money um, if you qualify to get uh, charging stations for your home if you buy an electric car. So we've got a lot going on in that area. We want you, if you're gonna drive, we want you to drive uh, in a zero emission car. Biking, another passion of ours. You know, we have a, we have a great off-street bike network, great trails, et cetera. We have a very not good on-street biking network. We need to invest more money in on-street biking infrastructure. We need to do innovative programs like bike sharing. We have a demo that we're gonna do in downtown that'll connect Discovery Green Market Square and City Hall. Uh, but we, that's just small. We need to be big, you know. We need to do this so that citywide people can pick up a bike and drop it off wherever they're going. 
We need to do creative things like shut down streets on Sundays and have a Sunday bikeways where you can come and ride your bike and, and walk and take your kids and do it in the middle of a business quarter. So we've got a lot more to do on biking. We've got a lot of smart people thinking about it, but we want, we want to be a bike-friendly city. Just like the speaker earlier wants us to be a walking-friendly city, we need to be bike-friendly as well. Let me go right into green buildings. Green buildings is another big initiative of ours. We've got a ton going on in this, in this field. Uh, the city of Houston has 11 LEED certified buildings. Um, we have another 14 will be LEED certified by the end of this year. We have some, some signature projects. One is actually a fire station. It's the first LEED Gold fire station, one of only a few um, in the country. We have a new one-stop permitting center that's going to be built, or that's built, it's going to be open uh, this month. Um, that will be, if you need to go get a permit, you'll go there. It's right on Washington Street near downtown. It will literally um, house all kinds of innovative, sustainable technologies. Three types of solar, four types of wind turbines, a green roof, rainwater harvesting, permeable pavement, you name it. That building will model it. You can go see how it's done so that maybe you can do it in your home or business. We have a green building resource center that's going to move into that new building. It'll be three times as large as it is now. Um, we've got great um, buildings in Houston private sector. Uh, this one right near is a Heinz building. It just opened, and it's going to be its uh, pre-certified platinum lead. We already have five platinum lead uh, buildings in Houston, and they keep and the numbers keep going up. So we didn't just want to do stuff in the city of Houston. We wanted to do stuff with the private sector. So we launched the Green Office Challenge, and this now has 334 participants in it, all from the private sector, all committing to green their office buildings, to commit to being Energy Star or LEED certified if they're not already, and to work with tenants, so it's not just owners and managers, it's with tenants, to do things in their building, in their uh, office space that, they, that, that can green their, their, um, their practices, whether it's commuter benefits, whether it's you know, reducing the number of printers in their office, not serving bottled water, et cetera. There's a number of things that we can do to help them green their office building. But we didn't just want to talk the talk, we wanted to give them resources and actual money. You know, the speaker said earlier, don't just say, do. Well, we are doing by giving buildings some money. We launched an incentive program, a first ever incentive program that will give office building owners 20% um, of an energy efficiency project's cost um, to, offset, to offset the upfront capital, because that's the thing we heard that was hard for them. Hard to do some of these projects because they don't have the upfront capital. So we have an incentive program that will cut off 20% of that initial fee. Um, and we're really trying to target um, smaller, older buildings in Houston. You know, Houston is actually has a lot of momentum on green buildings right now. We're sixth in the country for the number of LEED certified buildings we have. We're seventh in the country for the number of Energy Star buildings we have. Mayor Parker wants us to be number one in both. A program like this will get us there. Almost all those buildings that are LEED certified are Class A office buildings, the large, newer buildings. We need to get to those smaller, older Class B and C buildings and programs like this and our incentive program will help us get there. Um, let's see, what else is next? <laughs> Green infrastructure. Um, this is um, another a big, a big thing for Houston. We passed an initiative last year. You passed an initiative, Rebuild Houston. It's a, it's a really a, a innovative way to look at how to deal with our flooding and drainage. We, do not, we can't just look at pipes and boxes anymore in the street or hardscape. We need to look at green infrastructure, permeable pavement, bioswales, wetlands, rain, rainwater harvesting, rain barrels. We can do that with some of this funding that we have. We can be innovative and we can not just build how we used to build. We can actually incorporate green infrastructure into our planning process and into our design and our implementation. And we're going to do that, and you also need to help us push, push us to get there, because we need more green infrastructure in Houston. Uh, one of the last initiatives I'll talk about is our local food initiative, which is a passion of mine as well. Um, we are starting to build urban gardens throughout Houston. We built some great urban gardens right in downtown Houston in like a concrete oasis in one of our large office buildings. It's been a huge success. Uh, staff from the building have actually taken on and they, uh, they've taken on a life of their own and created a whole community around these urban gardens. To, to, to um, um, parallel that, we've also created a farmer's market right in front of City Hall every Wednesday. And so we're really teaching people that you can grow vegetables anywhere, you can buy local food that tastes wonderful, we want you to eat local food, and we really are trying to send this message a number of different ways. And the public has really, really grasped onto this and we get more and more requests for uh, urban garden help 
uh, than just about, just about anything except for recycling. <laughs> so let's talk about the future. Uh, we don't want our city to look like this um, in the future. We want it to be lush and green and beautiful and vibrant and innovative. And we want community and we want people talking to each other and walking and biking and taking public transportation. That's where you come in. That's where you can help us get there and do these things. You see that we have a strong base. We're doing a lot. We need to do more. We need more bike paths. We need sidewalks that people can walk on. We need single stream recycling for every Houstonian, not just a third of you, all of you. We need, we need small business corridors. We need people to uh, get out of their homes and talk to each other and not just sit in their cars. We need to make sure those rail lines are built. This is, this is where I know all of your hearts are there. So work with us, push us, talk to us, and together we can make Fast Company, who named Houston the city of the year this year, we will make them proud. We will show them that we are the city of the year. We are a future city. We do care about people and quality of life. And we absolutely, together, we can get there. I know we can. So please, uh, one thing you do, I hope you follow all the stuff we're doing. We're very active on social media and on the web. And our handle for everything is Green Houston TX. Green Houston TX, Twitter, Facebook, and our website. Thank you so much for having me today. And go Green Houston! Thank you.